is a British type of four pound incendiary bomb. To help it penetrate a roof, it has a heavy cast iron nose. It has a light metal tail containing the firing mechanism. And the body of the bomb is a magnesium alloy casing containing thermite. The hexagonal bombs pack together closely and bombing planes drop them in showers. If one of these bombs should arrive on your floor through roof and ceiling, the thermite inside will soon start burning. The best thing to do with it is to pick it up by the base, rush it outside and drop it into water. Now we'll watch another one that's not dealt with. The thermite's burning inside the core, but the bomb could easily be picked up and thrown out. Now after 20 seconds, the magnesium alloy casing is beginning to melt and burn with a white glare. Now a fire is starting. At this stage, the incendiary firework could be put out with a hose or buckets. After about a minute and a half, the fire is spreading. Hot particles of metal fly about. Curtains catch fire. Wallpaper and scrim get going. So within two or three minutes, there is a fire that endangers the whole house and perhaps neighboring houses. A fire that under emergency conditions may cause loss of life. To tackle this bomb, a universal tap union is being fitted to the kitchen tap and the half-inch garden hose run through the house to the bomb. When hit, the bomb flares up with projection of sparks. The demonstrator ignores the flare and goes right in, hitting the ends of the bomb with a jet of water. Fragments scattered from the bomb can be promptly dealt with by switching the hose onto them. It is an ordinary garden hose with full jet and can be brought to bear wherever pressure will reach. In just over half a minute, both this bomb and its resultant fire have been extinguished. This bomb has been going for over a minute and is well started. The demonstrator takes one of her buckets right up to the bomb and pours some of the water straight onto it. The bomb flares up and looks dangerous, but the rest of the bucket soon puts it out. Fragments of burning metal and the resultant fires are dealt with by means of more water. Two buckets full have killed this bomb completely. This bomb's been going about 30 seconds and has melted into two parts. It can still be picked up by hand. When both ends of the bomb have been dumped in the bucket, there's still some burning metal on the floor. It is splashed with water until all has been extinguished. This bucket method is reported popular with Russian schoolboys who raced to the German incendiary bombs and put them in water as soon as they fall. This bomb's too far advanced to be picked up, and as no water's available, it is being buried in sand poured from handy 20-pound bags. The burning firework isn't extinguished, but three of these bags of sand are enough to stop the fire from spreading. But remember, there may be a small bursting charge at the end of the bomb intended to scatter the burning material. So keep away from a bomb that's burning out. Remember too that under the sand, the bomb may be burning its way through the floor. This sand smothered bomb is being raked up and poured into water. The sand hasn't by any means killed this bomb.
bomb can be seen from the air, even in daylight, so steps are being taken to black it out. A half-filled sandbag forms a sand mattress, which soon helps to deprive the enemy of a useful sighting shot. This shows the limitations of sand. This householder has found a bomb sitting on his Chesterfield. He has emptied three 20-pound bags of sand onto it, but the flames are breaking through underneath. Now more helpers have come with a bucket pump, which holds four gallons of water delivered through a half-inch hose. Only water can do this job properly. Here's a bomb among inflammable rubbish. The demonstrator hits the bomb and wets its surroundings. The bomb flares up, but can do no damage amongst wet material. Two buckets finished that one. If one of these bombs should enter your house in the course of an attack from the air, it's your duty to yourself and your neighbours to put it out at once. If you can't throw it out, use a water stream for preference. Or buckets of water. Or put it in a bucket. Or smother it with sand until you can get water. Kill the bomb in one way or another. If a fire does start, it must be fought. Even this fire, with the whole room alight, is being extinguished by streams from two portable bucket pumps. Fire is the greatest danger to our homes in an air attack. However you do it, put out that bomb.